Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. I'm here with a mega haul. So excited to share with you everything that I picked up. And in particular, this stack of goodies right here because all these planners I got for $2.75 or $3.75. So earlier this morning, I went to go get my taxes done at my H&R um, block that I've gone to for the past couple of years. And my taxes are always really simple, so it doesn't take me that long to do them. Got them done, decided to stop by the local Michaels which is the Michaels that um, I used to go to a lot when I lived in that neighborhood. When I lived in San Diego, it was my go-to Michaels. Um, since then, I've moved out of San Diego about 35 minutes outside of the city, and I don't, I don't go to that Michaels anymore. But honestly, I wasn't expecting too much when I went to that Michaels because that Michaels always seemed to get product really late and then it didn't seem to have a lot of it it always seemed to kind of have like sparse shelves and so i wasn't really expecting too much when i walked in i was in the neighborhood figured it'd be fun to stop by um, i'm kind of on the hunt for older planners right now because they're like 60 percent off um at michael's so it's usually not like you you can't tell unless you scan the plan the planner at one of those like price scanner stations and then you'll see that it's on sale but it won't really say it on um like in the aisle you have to like scan the planner individually and see how much it costs for you to see that it's discounted but right now at Michael's, all the older planners are about 60% off, so it's like $10 per planner. And I had already had picked up one or two older planners from Michael's around my area, and um, I was kind of on the hunt for these older planners because they're discounted. And even though they're like older planners, quote unquote older planners, they're 2022 planners, meaning that, you know, it's April, we still have a good chunk of the year left. I still, you can still use these planners for this year, but I just want them for the discs, the covers, the dividers, and for the pages. I can always redate planners, that doesn't bother me at all. I can always throw some stickers onto those numbers and cover that up, but I think you can definitely reuse older planners with just a little bit of effort. And so I wanted to. Uh, just pick up some older planners that I've always wanted at a really sharp discount So I went to this Michaels not expecting much and I started scanning some of the older planners at the price station price checker station and Lo and behold all the older planners were two dollars and seventy five cents or three dollars and seventy five cents and I will show you my receipt right here so you can see what I'm talking about look all of the classic size planners were $2.79 and all of the bigger, the big size planners were $3.49 and then I just had this $3.99 um, planner, which I'm not sure which one that one was, honestly. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. But when I started scanning these planners and seeing that they were coming up $2, $3, I was shocked. I was shook. I picked up 10, I think 10 or 9 older planners and i just went to town and i went up to the cashier and i was like are you for serious right now are these planners two dollars and some change and she scanned them and she was like yep yeah, they're really discounted and i was like yes i will take all of these babies right here because i can always use the discs the covers the dividers the pages i can use every single piece of this planner even if it's an older quote-unquote older planner so let me just quickly go through all of these planners with you and share with you what I picked up and this is gonna be just part one of a major haul uh, video that I'm putting together this part one is just going to be of these planners I picked up in this one shopping trip to Michael's. These were all the $3, $2 planners. 
and all the other planners are from other various stores. This is probably going to be part one of a longer, <laughs> of a two-part haul video, so just get ready. Alright, so the first planner I picked up is this beautiful floral planner with these light pink peach discs. Such a gorgeous cover. It says, look for the beauty all around. And then the um, cover page is beautiful. I can always decorate these cover pages and, you know, keep on using them. Really love the calendar, although the calendar pages are probably the only pages I can't really um, reuse very easily because they're just so detailed and particular to that year. But I can always use the um, the monthly overview, which I, I love this. I love this style right here. Um, look at this divider. They're very floral. Um, the monthly, beautiful. It has some light periwinkle dots up and down the spine a little gorgeous bouquet here in the corner i can always redate the monthlies and i can always redate the weeklies here but this is a dashboard it does have that little like color block um there in the errands box which i don't mind at all some people don't really don't like um the color accents in planners but i've always been okay with them it has florals up and down the spine and then we get into february it says keep going and growing and then it looks like this month has orange accents and little like abstract lines there up and down the spine then we get into march and this one looks like it's going to be purple with like half moon shapes as accents and then let me just quickly flip through all of the dividers so you can see all these beautiful patterns i really really like um this floral design here this was one of the planners i kind of wanted to pick up when it released but i just didn't because i liked other planners better and i can't obviously like buy every single planner full price so i never picked it up but i will definitely pick it up for two dollars and 75 cents so that was the first planner I picked up. Then I picked up this fitness planner with the shoes and the weights in the front. We have a pretty standard um, cover page, the calendar pages, which are just pretty neutral. I do really like the monthly um, overview. We have a pretty like straightforward standard page, except it's um, split into these how I'm strengthening my mind, my body, and what I'm loving about myself. And then here is the first divider. Um, to be honest, this design is probably not my favorite fitness planner that they've come out with, like the dividers, but I still really do like it and I can definitely see myself using some of these dividers again. Like, I really like that one. Um, I really like the action shots. I just wish they had been in, like, real color and not in this, like, monotone color, if that makes sense. Um, so we just have a really neutral fitness layout. I think I'm going to use this one for next year. Like, I'm going to finish my fitness planner that I have right now currently, and then I'm going to be redating this one to be using as my fitness planner for next year. Then we have just a kettleball there. Some girls working out. Ooh, I love that we have a plus-sized woman on the dividers gym day strive for progress not perfection i do like the foil and uh, on the pages good things take time let today be the start of something new choose to shine and rise and shine so okay now that i flipped through this planner i do think it is cute um i definitely have warmed up a little bit to it I don't know, like flipping through it, I'm just like, okay, I, I see the vision there. So I think I'm going to be using this as my fitness planner for next year and just redating it. Okay, third planner I picked up. This one's another one that I really wanted when it first released. And I was like, I can't buy everything. Um, but again, for $2.75, yes, ma'am. So this is the Zodiac 
planner. It's a dashboard. Um, as a pretty plain and neutral cover page, uh, neutral calendar pages, very practical and straightforward. Monthly, it's very similar to a lot of planners. This release with the grid um, section and the three little boxes. So we start with Capricorn. It gives you a little bit of uh, information about the zodiac sign. The monthlies are really, really um, neutral with just some dots up and down the spine. And the weekly views are very, very neutral as well. We have gray accents and these tiny little polka dots up and down the spine. And then we have February, Aquarius, March, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, May, um, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and lastly, Sagittarius. And I love it. I honestly wish they could have done a little bit more, like, with the dividers. I think they're nice, but I don't think they're, like, stunning. I wish they were, there was a little bit more imagery with each divider. But again, like, I still really like them. Love the discs. Love the dashboards. Very, very neutral. Um, I can do so much with all this paper, so I'm really excited to be uh that i got this one and of course i really really love the, the cover of this one so there's that one the fourth planner i picked up <gasps> this was one i have been like lusting after for a while when it first released i really wanted it but i was like no i can't buy another planner just because i want it but again two dollars and 75 cents <laughs> yes i will pick it up um, so this is the Mickey in the, the Mickey floral line, and this one was aligned vertical. So again, a gorgeous cover page, beautiful calendar pages, Ugh, gorgeous calendar, a uh, year at a glance pages. I wish I could reuse those. And then the, the monthly overviews, beautiful, big grid section, a little like blink spot to write important notes some lines under january and then the dividers are stunning absolutely stunning the monthlies are really nicely decorated and the weeklies are also really decorated as well this is again a line to vertical so we have those boxes up at the top with the columns um, filled with lines and i love the font i love all the accents this is February. We switch into um, blue accents here. Uh, I love this one so much. Um, I know uh, Planning with Peanity uses this lined vertical for one of her planners. And I just love seeing her use it. And I was just like, oh, I want that planner so badly. And I went to this Michaels and they had it and on this incredible discount. So I'm so lucky. I am so lucky. I feel so lucky that that Michaels was, for whatever reason, decided to like mark them as like super discounted because all the other Michaels I've gone to, and I've gone to like three or four maybe, um, have their planner, their old planners at like 60% off. They don't have them at like 95% off. So definitely struck gold with that one moving on to this one this is the hustle and heart collection it has these beautiful gold metal discs which gold metal discs are already like 20 like 22 dollars by themselves and i got them for 275 with this planner so that already is like such a good deal but this is the hustle and heart planner um it's cute. I Hustle and Heart honestly wasn't my like, uh, I didn't fall in love with this collection when it came out. I don't have the sticker book. But what I do really like about this planner is that it has this like goal setting section at the beginning of its weeklies. And also it's an hourly format. I recently picked up another hourly uh, planner like this. The 
from the Hustle and Heart collection, but it, it's in the big size because that one was 60% off at a Michaels I went to because it was from the older release. And I fell in love with the hourly format <laughs> from using that planner. And I really have been wanting to get a classic sized planner with the hourly format so that way when I want to you know use an hourly format in classic size I can reach for those pages and so that's why I picked up this one it was two dollars 75 cents so I just had to and the gold discs of course I had to and the uh, monthly overviews they're really similar to others you have that big grid section and then some like sections here on the side and the dividers are nice they're not like my absolute favorite but i can definitely reuse them and some of them i like more than others like i like that one a lot um i do like this one this one's okay i like the ones with a little bit more color and than others this one's not my favorite because it's blue um this one's okay but yeah, so I picked up this baby. I do like the cover. Um, it, again, it's not my absolute favorite, but I can see myself reaching for this cover here and there. But I do like the message on the front. <sighs> but this was such a nice planner for $2.75. Moving on to, let's see, what's this? My number six planner picked this one up this was another one i've been eyeing for a while this is the spoonful of faith or is it the jenna holiday um let me see it's probably gonna be somewhere on the back spoonful of faith yeah this is the spoonful of faith uh classic um uh, planner and of course the cover is gorgeous so gorgeous the inside cover is gorgeous i love the cover page very very neutral just has gray accents the monthly overviews very neutral um very similar to all, a lot of other planners and the dividers are just so pretty i love her style and her art so much oh and this is a lined vertical and it's very neutral it just has all the font is very thin um pretty standard the boxes are gray and it's just very very neutral and the dividers are just so so pretty i love them i love her artwork oh that one's so cute just keep trying grow yeah i just really like her artwork it definitely is like a very particular style i wish i, I had um i had her sticker books i really wanted her sticker books as well but um Around the time that they released, I was like, had a really tight budget, and so I didn't pick them up. And then by the time like I was able to purchase sticker books, they had all like been snapped up. So yeah, I wasn't, uh, wasn't able to get those, but finally got the planner for $2.75. And then we move on to the big planners. Oh my god, I can't even like, I have to zoom out so you can see the entirety of this. But all the big planners were $3.75. I think one was $3.99. Um, well, actually, let me see. Well, actually, no. Well, that's interesting. Huh, so four of the planners were $3.49. Four of them were two seventy nine, and one of them was three ninety nine. But I'm not sure which one was the three ninety nine planner. Interesting. Well, I'm pretty sure these were three forty nine. But this is another one that I was like eyeing when it first came out. It has a saguaro on the front, and it says the world is too big to stay in one place. And this one is very much like a wanderlust type of um, planner so let me move the stack of planners and it's huge this is a huge happy planner the discs are this like light uh lavender like it's almost white with a pinch of purple beautiful the monthly overviews really similar to a lot of other monthly overviews and then the the dividers are just gorgeous they're like very much wanderlust very much um oh sun is creeping in you're gonna have to excuse the sun coming in here but 
Let me see if I can scooch over a little bit. So the monthly is very neutral. We just have little dots sprinkled up and down the spine. And this is a vertical style, which I can always use a vertical, very neutral. Just have to redate these pages. And then we have February with that cactus print, March, April. We just have beautiful like sepia toned photographs. Love this one so much. It's definitely a photograph taken in Joshua Tree. I love all the cactus sprinkled throughout this planner. Again, I love that like adventure road trip type of a vibe. So this was definitely one that I had my eye on for a while. But back then I wasn't really like wanting to use a big happy planner because I was so attached to my classic. Since then I've moved, you know, I've I've been able to <laughs> let go of my classic and play around with the big. So I'm happy that, you know, I got that one for $3.75. Moving on, this is um uh, this is, is this a spoonful of faith as well or marabou designs um but this is also a big uh big happy planner it has these beautiful peachy discs it says your ideas belong here and this um this art is so beautiful it's again it's really neutral calendar pages are really neutral it is a vertical and the vertical is also really neutral. Just has those nice polka dots up and down the spine. And um, I have the uh, the classic horizontal planner with this exact same artwork. And actually, there were some of those um, planners on sale as well, like the classic horizontal of this uh, design. And I was going to pick up a second one of it because I really like the one I have right now and I could see myself using another one, but I decided not to. I was like, okay, like I don't need to be picking up doubles of planners. Like it's enough to just have like such a huge assortment of planners already. Like even if I love it so much like there's gonna be so many new releases by the time I'm done with that planner that I probably want to move on to a new planner so I just told myself to pick up the big vertical because you know it's a new planner um, the dividers are similar but I mean they're exactly the same as the classic one that I have but they're just a lot, a lot larger and of course the discs so I got to pick that up and the last happy planner I picked up for two dollars or three dollars and 75 cents is this jungle vibes big happy planner I loved this cover so much when it came out I really wanted it but back then I wasn't buying big happy planners because I just felt like they were way too big I was never gonna use it and I just, there were so many big happy planners that I just like passed on because I was like so deeply like in love with my classic. But again, I've moved on. I'm expanding. I'm excited to try out big happy planners. So I picked this one up and it's super neutral um, with the monthlies. And then the dashboards are also really neutral. We just have a gray box here and the gray accents but also very, very neutral. Um, and the monthly overviews are my least favorite, honestly, that they've released. I don't like how it's set up. I feel like they wasted a lot of space here at the top with this huge like monthly header. And I would much rather have a lot more white space on a page than like darker space because I feel like it's harder to write and like sticker over but that's just me um but again i can always like you know change out this monthly for another monthly i have so many happy planner products and paper at this point that i can honestly create whatever i want to create and not use the pages that i don't want to use so these dividers are really really similar or exactly the same as the Jungle Vibes um, Classic Planner, which was a color block and is what I actually have. I have this planner, but in the um, classic style. And I did use it for a good amount of time, 
but then something about the color block wasn't really working for me and I decided to change it up and use something else for uh, for the purpose I was using that planner for. It was my like social media planner, um, how I like planned out my YouTube schedule and stuff and I just decided to um, to change it up. But I still have all of the you know the months that I didn't use. I have still have all the dividers and of course I am keeping the discs and the cover of that planner because they were all so beautiful. And that is it. That is my part one of my mega clearance haul from the Happy Planner. Again, I want to like reiterate that all those planners I got for $31.37, which is insane. So if you are on the hunt for planner goods, planner supplies, don't be afraid to pick up um, older planners because you can always use the discs, the covers, the dividers, and honestly the pages themselves, the monthlies and the weeklies and the cover pages. Like you can use all of this paper, you just have to redate it. And honestly, it's not that much work to just white out, you know, the dates or sticker over them with, you know, your own date stickers or just other stickers and just get get rid of those dates um very easy to do and i don't mind the extra work at all if it means you know i pay two dollars for a planner and honestly at this point in my life i think i like i think i only want to buy happy planner when it's 60 percent off or you know at the worst like 50 percent off because they are expensive products I don't want to spend all my money on Happy Planner, but I do like having their products. So I think what I'm going to do is like just wait for every release season and then pick up all of the older planners that I wanted and just not pick up any of the new planners. Maybe I'll pick up like one or two newer planners, but honestly, I think I'm going to wait now. Wait until the new releases come out. And then just go back and pick up all of the older planners that are like 60% off, 90% off, and just play around with those and just redate. Because <laughs> if, it, if it means I can pick up nine planners for the price of like one new planner, like I think I'm going to go with picking up a bunch of planners, even if they're older. And they're not even that old honestly like it's barely april i can still use you know like eight months worth of this planner and it's you know exactly dated for this year so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i don't know like i feel like i've bought enough new stuff at this point that i'm kind of like i'm okay i'm okay now i'm okay to just buy older stuff and you know buy it at a really sharp discount so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen planners at such a high discount at your local Michaels. And if so, let me know what you've picked up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.